What's up? My name is Joe Sway, and I'm here once again on Hear Me Raw. And um, I want to do this video on the effect that I, I seem to have on people. Well, I've been getting a lot of proof of this effect. It's really like, and the way that I thought about it this morning was the fact that I bring out people's demons, you know? I bring out the demons to the service, and you can call them demons, you can call them spirits, you can call them personalities, but I bring those personalities out, you know? I see what people are hiding, I see what people have tucked away, and I bring it up. It's like, I see, I don't see separation. You know, that's the thing, I don't see separation, uh, I don't see it, even though like my ego might see it and I might get attached to it sometimes and I might get a little freaked out or I might like lose myself in some emotions, a lot of times I lose myself in emotions that aren't my own, so I do sometimes see it with my ego, but with my third eye, like my intuition, my instinct, it's just, it doesn't see it, like my intuition just comes through, spirit just comes through me no matter what, you know, I'm always connected to spirit, that's a lesson that I learned recently that's really helped me out. Um, I'm gonna put this volume down real quick because I feel like it might be a little loud. But yeah, that is Nako Bear in the background. Love that guy. He makes some, del <laughs> I was gonna say some delicious music. But yeah, I guess, I guess you could call it delicious. Delicious to the ears. It's like soul food. Beautiful beats, beautiful words, beautiful sceneries. Like he takes you on a journey and you know, there's a lot of na nature connectivity to it, bringing you back to source. <sighs> but yeah, I would say that's what I do to people. I bring out their, their personalities. I bring out what they're hiding, what they think that they're hiding. I bring them out. Cause Hear Me Raw is about expressing yourself, your true self. And what I'm realizing that some people's true selves are they're fairies. Like that they're they're literally fairies. You look at their personalities, what they do, it's like it's very fairy like. Like what do you think what do you think we get these ideas from? You know? Like humans are essentially animals, but we're also like a combination of many, many animals. We're actually a combination of all the animals. So Oh, the combination of all these animals, what does it turn to? It turns into a mythical creature like a unicorn or a fairy or a mermaid or cats or pretty much all animals are mythical creatures. So I'm looking at a squirrel right there, like a squirrel, like some mythical creature. You look at Pokemon, what are they? Pokemon are just like, like kind of cool versions of the animals that we see on a daily basis or maybe a combination or somebody's vision of them, you know? You look at a squirrel, you look at what they do, they're amazing, the way they fly through the trees, they're fearless, they're fearless animals, literally, they're fearless, they walk on branches out to us like, oh my god, that could break, but they're just like, flying through that, doing flips, and freaking turning around in midair, doing, like, they just, they, do, they twist their bodies, they're so at one, they're so connected, and that's powerful, that's why animals, like, inspire us so much, we see them, we're just like, man, that is one connected being, in a sense, animals are above us, because they... They understand compassion, they understand love, they understand life, you know? They understand what it means to be connected, they are grounded in who they are. They know what their job is, what their purpose is. They know, you know, and then they do it. They do it knowing that as long as they do what they're meant to do, that everything will be provided for them. Animals don't worry about tomorrow, they don't worry about clothing, they don't worry about that. Like, they know when to get out of an area. You know, humans, you're just like, oh, no, I'm going to rationalize my way into staying here even though it's abusive for me. But animals, when they're abused, they try to get out. They scream. They show what they're feeling. They don't hide it. And um, humans can tend to learn a lot from that. And I'm saying humans because, like, what is human anyway? It's just a label. It's a word that we made up. Like, I don't really consider myself human. I think we're all aliens, pretty much, because we're all, like, combinations of life. You know, we're able to experience life as from the, the perspectives of so many you know, and we have access to the Akashic Records, so that's like we have access to all the information. Like you go to, up to a tree, that tree might be a couple hundred years old. That tree might be a couple thousand years old. Like, you know, that's why we, we have to save these forests. Like they're destroying information. They're destroying our heritage. They're just destroying our history by destroying these, you know, these trees. That's knowledge right there. But also we are walking trees. We are the walking Bible. We are the walking word of God, like God blew life into us as the Bible says so the breath of God the breath of life the the power to create worlds worlds runs through us so we have the power to create worlds so it can never truly die because we are here you know we are the embodiment of it all we are the embodiment of life we are the embodiment of creation we are the embodiment of polar polarity we are the embodiment of all the universal laws of all the senses of all the elements all these reside within us 
<laughs> you know, we are literally bodies of info. As Nako Bear says it in one of his songs, we are bodies of info. We are informed. We are informed. We are formed from information. We are bodies of info, you know, creating such miracles. You know, we are literally bodies of info that can create miracles. We can create more info. You know, like we can create other versions of ourselves. We can create different realities. You know, we can create video games, which is another reality. And in that video game, there can be another video game within a video game within a video game. It's like, so how many layers are there? How many layers are there? We don't know. We truly don't know. It's endless. It's beautiful. And that's what life is. And that's why we have to realize that there is no separation. It's all connected. It's all one. It's all meant to happen. And when you can get to that point, and you might as well get to that point. And don't expect everyone around you to get to that point because this is something that we have been programmed to believe against. We have been Fear has been used against us to keep us from awaking, waking up to this truth. That's why I posted, like, wake up or be a slave. Those are your only options. Whether you wake up or you be a slave. You know, not much changes, but everything changes. Really, the only thing that truly changes is your perception. You become more open. You become more imagina ima imaginative. You become more playful. You become more childlike. That, that's what happens. You start to live more because you start to enjoy life. You start to see it as life as part of you, as life is here to help you out. The universe is here to help you out. You know, you start seeing more of that rather than the opposite. You know, because we are the creators, you create your own, re your own reality. The law of attraction is true. We attract what we fear without knowing it because we're not aware of our thoughts. We have no idea how fearful we are until we start being aware, until we start practicing consciousness, until we start seeing, oh my goodness, I have a lack mentality. I, I'm, I'm hoarding. I'm keeping things to myself. I don't share what I like. I like to keep to myself. Like, there was times I noticed, like, I was having a hard time sharing with my own daughter, man. Like, like feeling like, oh my God, she be, I hope she doesn't eat it all. Because, like, I want it. I want it. I was like, holy shit. Like, you know, it really made me just look at myself like, damn. And that's what evolving is. That's what evolution is. That's what being in the present moment is. It's just really taking all the information and putting it together and realizing, holy shit, like, I got some work to do. I got some healing to do. And it's okay. We are all works in progress. So start now. Start healing now. Start loving yourself now. Why not? You, it doesn't hurt. Like, there's no rule that says that you have to go through this in order to, to truly love yourself. You can love yourself right now. And that is the best decision that you can do right now is to love yourself right now, to accept yourself right now. I know it's hard. I know it like, seems like it's crazy. Even if you can't do it right now, but just hear these words. Hear me say this and just know that it is possible for you to love yourself right now in this moment. It is your choice. You have free will. We all have free will. That's why I don't tell people what to do. I just tell them, hey, this is what I did. This is what you're able to do. You know, yes, we are different. We have different physical characteristics. We're from different places. We have different histories and all that stuff. But we are still both human. In our minds, we have the same capability. In our hearts, we have the same capability. Because all, everything happens from within. And yes, we perceive it differently, so we create a different reality. But we are all living in this reality, co-creating it together. It's obvious, so you're not alone in this. So let me. So I'm showing you what I can do from within. And what I'm doing from within, so can you. So can you. Yes, you might see it differently. You might see different people. You might be in different places or whatever. They might come up differently, different colors, different perceptions. But you're still, you're still working with the heart. You're still working with your emotion. You're still working with your emotional body, your soul body. You're working with your subconscious mind. You're working with your inner child. And that's what you got to heal. That's what you got to take care of. You got you to gotta pick up your inner child. You got to say, hey, man, I love you. That love that you didn't get growing up, give it to your inner child. Those hugs, those kisses, you know, playing around in the park, swimming around in the water, like just everything, all the comfort, you know, like we feel like as if like we need to, like there's this thing about millennials saying that, oh, millennials were, were babied, they were given participation trophies, like they were, they were told good things when they didn't deserve it, that is far from the case. We we literally got no love. Like we literally got no love. We got no love. We got no attention. Like we were forced into slavery, pretty much. We were forced into going to school. We were, we were forced to do things we didn't want to do. Like literally, we were so unhappy. And just because we had like things, it made a difference. Out because oh, we had video games. We had clothes. We had food. We got to party. We whatever. That no, that like, that's not what's important. What's important is. Being accepted for who you are, being valued, you know, unconditional love. 
See, that is what most of us did not get growing up. That's what that is actually what probably most humans did not get unconditional love growing up because we have most of us have no idea what love is. We're not taught love. We taught the opposite of love. Actually, all love that we the love that we think is true is very egotistical. It's very it's all about attachment. It's all about draining. It's all about getting something outside of yourself rather than giving it to yourself first cont continuously. Finding a system, creating your own system to, to cherish and nourish yourself, surrounding yourself with people that love you, that cherish you, people that, not, that don't tolerate you, they accept you. They accept you and they want you to be more of who you are and they are inspired by you because you are being who you are. It's an endless cycle of freaking love and appreciation and that is how you nourish yourself. Meditation, working out, smiling, laughing, dancing, expressing yourself, hear me wrong. I'm here to help you express yourself. That's how you, that's how you break the chains. That's how you get out of this cage. That's how you leave the matrix. It's by expressing yourself. It's by being you. By loving yourself. Accepting yourself 100%. So, that's my video. And, you know, like, and I want to say that I'm not just talking to talk. I'm walking to walk. I mean, I am living proof of this. As you can feel through this video, as you can see through my eyes and my body language and my hair and my skin and my composure and just like how I am just in acceptance. <laughs> Let me... So let me be the example, like, I'm leading by example here, I'm just, honestly, <laughs> I was talking to my friend Tiana yesterday, and we decided a theme for 2018, a theme, and you know what that theme is? That theme is fuck it, that's the theme for 2018, fuck it, fuck it, love yourself, have some fun, enjoy life, 